right now I'd like to show you a few slides that represent some of the recent data trends just to call a few things to your attention. So if we could have the first slide. So this is the epidemic curve looking at the number of cases by the specimen collection date, so when the specimens were collected. And what you can see is that we peaked in mid-July with the number of cases being reported in Shelby County, and then we had decreased our number of cases throughout August, had a small increase around the Labor Day weekend, and then resumed a downward trend, which is now starting to increase once again. So we are back into a phase where we're growing the epidemic. Next slide, please. We've had 537 deaths, representing 1.6% of all the cases diagnosed have been fatal. Our median age of death is 74, with a range from 13 to 100 years. And what that median means is that half of the cases were 74 years old or older when they died, and half of the cases were younger than 74 years old when they died. Next slide, please. When we look at where is COVID-19 uh, most active in the communities of Shelby County, what you can see through this map is, this is a case rate map over the last two weeks, that we have pretty active COVID-19 transmission going on around the county, but the most active area is the Northeast Quadrant, which would include parts of Bartlett, Lakeland, Arlington, um, you know, certainly outlying areas from Millington. That is the most active case rate per 100,000 population area in the county right now, but we do see COVID activity widespread throughout the county. Next slide, please. Now, something that you may have heard us talk about uh, at various times during the epidemic is the reproductive rate of the virus. And whenever the reproductive rate of the virus is above one, we are growing the epidemic. So during, uh, for a long period of time, from early to mid-May until uh, the end of July, we had a growing epidemic where RT or reproductive rate of the virus was above one. And then at the end of July and throughout all of August, we were able to push the reproductive rate below one, meaning that during those weeks, we were actually shrinking the number of cases. We were producing fewer cases in the future than we had in the present. Um, in September, we did have a, a period of time around Labor Day or just a little after where it went back above one and then we were able to go below one once again, but now it has oscillated back up above one and we are once again growing the epidemic as is um, proven by the 347 cases that were reported yesterday. Next slide, please. And what this impacts is hospitalizations. And so this slide is produced by Dr. Thomas at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center and it shows that we had peaked with a number of people hospitalized from COVID disease in the middle of July, and then we had been benefiting from a, a long-term decline in the number of people hospitalized that has now reversed and begun to climb again. So from all of these data points, uh, what we are learning or what we're pointing out is that COVID-19 disease is still very much a present danger to the people of Shelby County and that the virus can be found in virtually all parts of Shelby County. As a result of that, and noting the increase in cases, we need to remind everyone and challenge all of us to adhere to all of the guidelines that we've produced uh, throughout this epidemic about our personal choices and personal behaviors that can protect us and our loved ones from COVID-19 disease.